Hey guys, it's Tracy, and I just wanted to give you a quick update. I just finished watching Public Safety Minister Marco Mendicino's press conference from beautiful Miramichi, New Brunswick. Um, against the beautiful backdrop of, uh, of the river and the playground here, Miramichi is like many other communities right across the country. Um, I have to underline that that's unacceptable, that we do have to continue to work harder to redouble our efforts to see gun cr gun cr gun cr gun crime go down. Um, and I have three main takeaways that I want to share with you. Uh, number one, the minister announced just under a million dollars in funding to combat and prevent gun and gang violence in Miramichi. Um, it's interesting to see these little purses of money being distributed across the country while at the same time he's committed between two and five billion dollars of your tax dollars to confiscate legal guns from licensed owners. Uh, second of all, the mayor of uh, Mary Machi admitted that they don't actually have a gang violence problem in that community and for that matter they don't really have a gun violence problem either. Certainly we know in our community, although we might not have the prevalence of gangs uh, or even uh, significant gun violence, we, we know that uh, you know crime has gone up, in particular around addiction issues. Um, but he said he did welcome the funding because it would be a great help to some initiatives like combating drug addiction problems and also for women's shelters. I don't really have a bone to pick about either of those things. I think that's, that's a great idea. But just to be clear, the gun and gang violence money um, is going to communities without gun and gang violence to support other initiatives. Make of that what you will. Thirdly, the or the um, deputy police chief was asked by media um, if he's seen an increase in guns being seized from criminals in his community, even though it's not a particularly violent neighborhood or area. And he said, yeah, absolutely. In the last four or five years, he's seen a huge increase in the number of guns being seized from criminals and almost always exclusively associated with the dealing of drugs. Hardly a week goes by that we don't seize a gun now in a uh, in a criminal circumstance and it's almost always um, connected to uh, to drugs in some way shape or form. So um, it's interesting you see the outcome of soft on crime liberal policies playing out across the country. We didn't have these problems under the last government or at least not to the same extent we do now. Those are my three takeaways, gun and gang violence, money, funding, uh, women's shelters, and drug addiction problems. I don't, really, I don't really have an issue with that, but just, uh, just an interesting little tidbit. Have a great day.